So as you see on the graphic, uh, this massage uh, bodywork uh, developed for uh, slowing down the nervous system. The uh, nervous system, you, we can see on this graphic how it works. Uh, if the line goes down to a certain point, it reaches the uh, very slow impulses from nerve system especially from sympathetic nerve system because this is the sympathetic skin response sensor and um, so we've done a little um, a soft tissue uh, mobilization and we got this result and um, according to this result we can actually uh, build the strategy of a massage uh, techniques and uh, the which elements of massage technique we have to use at uh, this particular uh, client today. So the uh, goal of this massage technique is to stop or I would say switch off the uh, sympathetic nerve system, slow it down because sympathetic nerve system mostly it uh, help us to use body but sometimes we overuse this body and it actually destroys the main source of energy so we have to slow down the sympathetic nerve system and we have to make sure that body is ready to recover itself to uh, let the parasympathetic nerve system to take place after this massage and according to this graphic we can actually see that only certain uh, elements of massage will give you the results of slowing down the nervous system and uh, it's mostly uh, symmetrical and circular movements so why are we doing that? It's for example, if you have a, a bulb, light bulb, and if it uh, works all the time, it will burn out very fast. So what we need, we have to just switch off during the night and then we reuse it during the day and uh, we kind of prolong the uh, lasting time of this bulb. Same thing with the nervous system. If we overuse nervous system, if we do not shut it down at night, when we sleep or during massage or during this kind of therapy, the so nervous system will actually will be worn out and uh, exhausted and then the recovery ability of body will be actually slowing, slowing down. That kind of people will develop uh, chronic fatigue, some kind of diseases, and very rapid aging processes. The using of this technique actually helps us to get objective evidence of what we did during massage. And we actually can clearly see how much of healing and uh, how much of relaxation this client took after this massage, how much he got after this massage. So this is uh, very helpful for massage therapists to uh, have the document. We can print it out and we can use it for uh, further a strategy of, of uh, massage treatment of these clients. This is very important and uh, you guys have to actually uh, know how to print out uh, these uh, charts, how to put down commands, and how to file this, and uh, how to correlate each uh, session of massage and uh, kind of analyze it, and then build a strategy for next uh, massage therapy sessions.